quick video for you guys. Uh, this is a cooker that's fixing to go to Ohio. It is a 30 by 60 uh, reverse flow cooker. It, uh, it has a stainless shelf right here on front. This cooker has the remote grease drain right here up front. It also has a custom box that Tyler made. I get the first customer request right here. Do that. Sit there. It's a really big box. Uh, Nice to put, you know, wood in, whatever. I guess I, all your supplies go in it and everything. Probably not wood, but uh, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to put it, put in there. Uh, this cooker has kind of a different different top on it. Tyler, this is a standard height cooker, which is, uh, I think, like 20 and a half inches. Well, this being a 30 inch diameter cooker, you had, you had to come over here and break it to make it tie into the uh, frame here, which is something that looks really neat and I like it. It's really, Really, really nice. This is a large capacity cooker right here. It has, uh, even though it's a 60, being 30 inches diameter and stuff, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, we have to hold a lot of meat in it. And uh, pull out brakes, but we always have a line out brakes. Gaskets around the door from uh, Justin at barbecuegaskets.com. Uh, Tyler Custom makes these fenders right here because the reason we make our fenders is because what you're going to see on trailers. A lot of times you're gonna see fenders that are bent, tore up, lights that are tore up, because I've repaired many trailers. So we, you know, in case our lights and light boxes, make our own fenders. Uh, it's just, you know, better, stronger. It's gonna be a lot better deal. This cooker also has probe inserts here on top of the cooker for your wires to go in and stick your meat. Has one in the warmer. This cooker has both damper systems right here. Uh, it is not, it, this is not an insulated firebox, is it? It's your cooker. Okay, this uninsulated fire box, got a really large fire basket, uh, so, you know, this cooker will get up to temp, and, uh, you know, guys ask about insulated boxes, I've got customers in Indiana, Illinois, Chicago, Ohio, that do not have insulated boxes, you know, guys that have them, love them, guys that don't have them, don't need them, so, uh, well, you know, it's, uh, does it make a difference? Probably make some, but I don't think it makes an astronomical amount of difference. It does, it will prolong the paint over a period of time. But once this cooker starts, you know, if it starts a bit fading on the side, then you can just put oil on it. I'm good on the firebox. But it has a charcoal pan right here, three grates. Right here, so we're really two restaurant pans are going there side by side on each grate. Uh, so a lot of, lot of room right there. Uh, Got a fold down burner right here. Just fold down, flip down, and uh, so, you know, that, that's another neat thing. I, I don't know if Tyler's done with a lot of it, but it's it neat, I like it. You got a big, you know, wood box on the side right here. Uh, four foot wide trailer. Is this four foot wide or five foot wide trailer? You know, Jay? Jay, what's the trailer? Five. It's four or five foot anyway. I think it's five foot. It is five foot wide trailer. But again, the custom box up front. Uh, you know, big size box, so, you know, boxes aren't cheap like that. It takes time to find them and build them and everything. So, anyway, just going to do a quick video. Uh, you can give Tyler a call, 205 7990 He, you know, got a long back lock, but also, I wouldn't try to call him during the day because he, he's, he's always working during the day. So, you know, you might have texted him during the day, seen him email or not. That is your best response. It's Tyler at Shirley Fabrication. Dot com. I still build cookers. I build smaller ones uh, on a lot smaller scale for my off day. But uh, you can just uh, give me a call at 205 310